Hello, Azumi here, and I am running Nerthus, obviously, or however you pronounce her name. I have no idea if that's right or not. It's just the way it looks. Um, going with Froggy, Saskia, Genesis, Ymir, Lumiere, and Senia. With basically Saskia does most of the damage. It, Senia does quite a bit though too. So if you have her, she's worth checking out if you can get her to work. Um, by no means is this team going to win every time. I probably only survive about 50% of the time anyway because Froggy dies. And if you don't have Lumiere, this fight is going to be extremely difficult. I don't know if anybody's managed to beat her without Lumiere on their own yet. I'm sure somebody probably has by now, but... It's not an easy fight at all. There we go, not doing too bad on time. Uh, one thing I do in this fight is I don't use the limit burst. Period. I don't, it, it, it tends, to me it seems like it gets in the way of uh, Lumiere, Sure Shot, and Master, so I don't use it. Just using their skills and gear seems to be, do the trick do the trick a little bit faster than the limit burst does and basically froggy and saskia do the biggest part of the damage with uh genesis shamir in there just for his ability to crystal crush and senia kind of does both She's more or less made for this fight. Uh, not doing too bad on time here. Not about 2 minutes and 20 seconds left, so that's not bad. The trick is, is you gotta keep... You wanna keep Lumiere skill up as long as possible. That way you just keep hitting her with gear after gear after gear and it she goes down pretty fast. Once you get the, the back two crystals are the most important. Once you get those gone then the barrier drops and then you can actually hit her. After you crush the back two crystals it takes around 15 seconds before the barrier drops. Keeping Lumi's, Lumi's skill up all the time makes the crystals go down pretty quick if you have the right gear on, which I'm going to show right after this. It usually cuts it pretty close. You usually don't have a lot of time left. See, she took a big chunk of damage up to Saskia right there. But I should have enough time with the debuffs and everything to kill her. Saskia is almost about to bite the dust. No, she recovered. Good. That's the good thing about Lumiere's skill is it kind of makes your healing equipment work a lot better. You can get down to dangerously low levels of health. And there we go, 9 seconds to spare. And let's look at the damage over here. 
And that's what I expected it to be. Saskia on top with Froggy and Senia is second and third. And here we go with the gear that I'm using to fight her. Like I said, keep in mind, like I always say, that it, there might be better stuff to use. But in general, you kind of need Gale Sickles. And the Sanir Aqua, High Aqua Rings, you're better off maxing them out. And Saskia. Again, Earth Weapons, and that's just to make the skills proc a little bit faster. As well as it has an absurdly, absurdly amount. Uh, I can't talk. A lot of damage. And basically this is the hit the back row. This is be just because I didn't have anything better right now. Um, this because ignore barrier, which is the only reason to use Ymir. Lumi obviously is a support character. So that's the way I set her up. And Senia. Just basically you want to feed that feed her skill as high as damage as possible and this just because it's a decent weapon to use here and that's about it so thank you for watching